A Melbourne father who overcame an aggressive cancer before his son died from the same disease wants to use his family's tragedy to keep others together. Cells from their tumours are proving a game changer for research and medical scientists are confident they could lead to better treatments for neuroblastoma. Henry Ziotis was seven and a half years old when he was diagnosed with neuroblastoma. Henry, um, Henry is our youngest um, and he was in his um, sunshine in human form. Neuroblastoma is a cancer most common in children and starts in early nerve cells. What's really disturbing about this particular cancer is that it tends to be highly metastatic, like it, it, it can grow rapidly and it can spread. Henry started his first chemotherapy on Christmas Day last year, but didn't show signs of improvement. That was really awful on his little body. He died on March 26, 104 days after being diagnosed. Seven years earlier, his father, George, had received the same shock news. It's because his lungs were collapsing. Um, he required daily injections because he had blood clots. His food was restricted. Um, at times he was isolated and not able to leave his room. This tragic connection is believed to be the world's first known genetic link of neuroblastoma. Donating Henry's tumour and my tumour for research purposes was a was a no-brainer. I, want, I wanted something positive to come out of this because um, losing a child and losing your son really sucks and uh, no one should have to go through it. Researchers have long suspected neuroblastoma could run in families. Now it's hoped Henry and George's case could lead to better and more advanced treatments. It's a great opportunity now to actually go and interrogate that data in the lead-up to the holidays, Neuroblastoma Australia has launched a Christmas appeal in Henry's honour, ensuring his legacy can help others dealing with this aggressive cancer. And we really want more to be done, so we can actually understand the disease far better. We can identify the genes at play. Treatments that might give more families the gift of being together at Christmas. It's very difficult to do Christmas without Henry. Childhood cancer is rare. Um, but it's tough <laughs> and it's gut-wrenching and it's horrific and it takes a toll not only on your little person but your family and Christmas is all about family. Holly Edward-Smith for Sky News in Melbourne.